very welcome. Today, I'd like to continue to look at this phrase, I will. And we pick up this phrase in a very different way in Isaiah chapter 14, where Isaiah, speaking judgment against the king of Babylon for their wickedness, addresses not the king of Babylon, but addresses the spiritual forces behind the kingdom and speaks about Lucifer, the son of the morning, the day star that has fallen. And the attitude of Lucifer is most interesting because it's a duplicate and a counterfeit, as we always know with him, of how, what the Lord speaks into our lives. And picking it up from verse 13, it says this, You have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne. I will sit on the mount of the congregation. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. I will ascend. I will exalt. I will sit. I will ascend above the heights. I will be like the Most High God. Five I wills. And he, the enemy of our soul, he, he, he works in counterfeit. He duplicates. You know, he appears even as an angel of light, we know. And what we have to understand is that we live in a world now and we wrestle with the world, the flesh and the devil, you know. And the biggest, one of the biggest problems I have, even if the devil disappeared tomorrow and the world disappeared tomorrow, I still have me. And it's not so much that everything that I do is wrong or some of what I do was wrong. The problem is not what I do. The problem is what I am. I belong to a fallen race. And, you know, we are either walking closer with the Lord or we're actually walking towards the enemy. And that's the reality of it. And everything in this world wants to pull us away from the Lord into the enemy's territory. So when we're saying things like, I will, I can manage this, I am fantastic, I am magnificent, we're on the wrong ground. We're on the ground of the enemy. Something that reminds me about this passage of scripture and that humbles me again and again. Many years ago, the Lord taught me a very humbling lesson. Uh, people find it entertaining. It wasn't so entertaining when it happened to me, but I can see the funny side of it, I suppose. And I was working within the health service and managing um, a service that went into older people's homes and helped them to live uh, at home and not in a nursing home or in hospital. And my counterpart, a little bit down the way, uh, wanted to come and speak and get my advice. And I was like, well, of course, come over tomorrow. I am magnificent. Why would you not want advice from me? I can tell you everything you're doing wrong and I can show you everything that I am doing because everything I am doing is right. I will. It's that puffing out chest. I am fantastic and you are not. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. This is the fallen Adam nature. When we are called to a different path, we are called to reliance on the spirit and not on ourselves. And that is what Paul is trying to tell us in Romans 8. In Romans 7, it's all about us, yeah? And that's why there's such failure. But Romans 8 is walking in the spirit. So there I am in my office, leaning back on the chair, king of creation. And I will do it this way. I will do it that way. And this lady very graciously is sitting there taking it all in and this board member. And I'm pontificating about this and about that. And I am magnificent. The only thing I was missing was a cape. Superman was giving them advice. And I was so arrogant. So arrogant. And so very lost in that moment. And it, it embarrasses me to talk about it. But the Lord wasn't finished. He wasn't going to let me away with that because he needed to teach me that it's about Christ. It's not about you, Peter. It's about Christ. So forget that I will, I will. Forget that. It's about him working in and through me, not about Peter. And as they walked away and I was so satisfied with myself and I'm leaning back in the chair and I just glanced down and I noticed to my horror, the fly on my trousers was open during the whole meeting. At the very end of Corinthians 10, 1 Corinthians, Paul says this, him who thinks he can stand, take care at least you should fall. And I fell flat on my face because I was a fool. Remember, the Adam life only brings us from place. And the enemy does not come except to steal, kill and destroy. John 10, 10. But Christ has come that we might have life and have it 
to the full. May you walk close with him this day. In Jesus' precious name. Thank you.